Hey everyone and welcome back to VFX Vibe once again. So in today's video, we are going to see few tips and tricks of CG compositing. Probably no one gonna tell you. Just now I was doing some compositing and I came up with this problem and I thought to share with you all. Before starting today's topic, if you want to have these working files with you just for practice purposes, you can go to our website www.vfxvibe.com and you can download it from there. Okay, without wasting any time, let's jump to screen. So here, as you can see, I have two comps, very few notes. And before starting, uh, don't quote me on this because I just want to demonstrate the problem and how we can have the solution for those problems, right? I haven't finished this compositing yet, right? Okay, so as you can see over here, I have same comp in a two flow. So what's the difference between th those flow? So if I'm going to switch between one and two, barely you're going to see any changes. But if I'm going to zoom over here and now if I'm going to swap those inputs, you can see there is massive difference between those comps, right? So as you can see over here in one comp, we have very neat and clean edges. And in another comp, we have ugly black lines, right? So let's understand first why they are coming, right? So in this particular comp, if you can see, we have neat and clean things, right? But in this comp, we can see a black ugly line is coming, right? This problem is known as pre multiplication error, right? So let's figure it out from where it's coming, right? Here I have my few passes like albedo and then ambient occlusion, then shuffle. Uh, I have shuffled bounce light, rim light and so on and so forth. Passes can be different. So main problem coming in your merge, right? So what, what happened? Anything we are going to add, like if you're adding ambient occlusion, so you have to multiply it, right? So here, as you can see, and if I'm going to see my alpha, alpha is something like that. Here, the main problem will come. So because what's what's happening in merge, we are going to output RGBA, right? So as you can see over here, I have my alpha over here. I have again my alpha over here. So if I am going to plus it or multiply it, what's happening? My alpha is getting hard again and again, right? So because we have, if I'm going to select this pixel, the value of alpha is 0.84. And if I'm going to plus my rim light again, the value of alpha is 84. But if I'm going to plus it, what's happening? This semi transparent pixel is now it's fully opaque one and the value of alpha is 1.77 because we are plusing alpha again and again. Same way if I'm going over here again, you, you can see your semi transparent pixels are getting plus with alpha again and again. And now the result is if you can see we are having black out edges. So what we need to do just see through this merge and here we need to change the output. So what we have to do output, you need to do RGB. I don't want any kind of alpha to merge, right? So same way over here, just just look these lines, what will happen slowly, it will be fixed. Can you see that again, same way, I'm going to do RGB with this merge RGB. And suddenly you can see everything is finished. So again, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do RGB from this merge. So what will happen, it will be transparent. So you need not to worry, just you have to take a copy node. And just you need to copy your mean alpha over here. So what will happen? Suddenly you can see your black line has been removed, right? So this one tip I, I would uh, like to give you. Another one, many times I had a question like why we need to use Unpremult and premult, where to use unpremult and premult, right? So now I'm going to tell you where to use premult and unpremult. If you are doing any kind of color correction, I will request you to use unpremult and premult, right? So as you can see over here, I'm having my same uh, comp output. And if after merging my all passes, if I want to do any kind of color correction because if you can see in background, I'm having green in my shadows. So what I can do, I can take a grade node, 
probably and in grade node i can go to my probably leaf and i'll start tweaking greens so very very uh, quickly i'm going to do that I, and again i'm going to use my pre multiplication to alpha i don't want anything to affect on background so same way uh, if i want i can take a grade node i want to make some contrast so probably i'll i'll gain down and probably i can gain it up so don't quote me on this because i want to show you a problem right if problem will come then only we'll have solutions right so same way if i'm going again i can take a grade node or color corrector node probably i can i can lower down the white point something like that so okay we have done our color grading and might be you can say there is no changes so let's see over here so what's happening again you can see your edges is getting harsh and harsh right can you see that let's fix it first so i'm going to take a unpre melt node right unpre melt node and i'm going to connect it so as i'm going to connect my unpre melt what what's happening my edges is getting destroyed might be you can say and once my all color corrections has been done i'm going to take a pre melt node now if you want to see the changes or difference i am going to select my both unpre melt and pre melt and i am going to disable it and let's zoom it and if we can see here closely how my edges is affecting without unpre melt pre melt with unpre melt pre melt can you see without unpre melt we are having a dark hollow kind of effect so let's let's see where this this problem is coming can you see that can you see that very little but it's coming can you see that so let's understand what's happening any render is coming from any cg applications it's already pre multiplied so what i mean to say pre multiplied if you can see edges this alpha is 1 this alpha is probably 0.5 this alpha is so and so forth and what happens any time we are going to color correct it we are going to affect our extreme last pixels as well can you see that just see we are affecting our last pixels as well can you see that that's the region the transparent pixels is getting darker or brighter that's the region whenever you are adding any cg element in your live footage any kind of white or dark edges might come right especially if you are doing color corrections so what exactly unpremult is doing unpremult is doing nothing it's just getting uh, your color it's is picking color the particular uh, transparent color and it's making solid but if you'll check alpha your alpha is not changing at all right so any changes unpremult is doing on your rgb it's taking your color of your transparent pixels it's just changing it to solid color right then again we are going to do all our color grading and uh, anything and now again i am multiplying my changed rgb with my original alpha so transparent value will be similar and your color correction already we have done our color correction right so that's the reason why your if you are doing any kind of color grading to your cg element it might possible there will be slight hollow dark edge will come so you what you have to do you have to just use unpre melt before starting your color grading and pre melt once your color grading has been done right so i think these two tips and tricks you must follow while doing your any kind of cg compositing so i hope these two tips and tricks will help you to understand the pre multiplication error while doing cg compositing and if you think this video is helping you please don't forget to like this video share this video and if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe also don't forget to visit our website and to download this assets as well with this said this is vfxy signing off have a good day